Hi there boys and girls, Brucey here again with another quick logic tip. Today we're going to look at um, the arrangement track. Now the arrangement track is um, really useful for if you've got a song or any ideas of, of, of basically trying out lots of different combinations um, without having to do lots and lots of editing. It's also, I guess, a way of, of using markers to show which bits of your song are which. Um, so it has a variety of different um, reasons, um, a variety of different applications, I guess, for its use. Um, there are a number of ways of doing this, um, but uh, this way is really quite quick and it's a great feature of Logic 10, I think. Um, let's just say, for example, in this song here, as you can see, th this bit here is, is the introduction. Uh, you can tell by the waveforms all the other parts are kind of kicking in around bar eight so it's an eight bar introduction now let's say i decided that i wanted to put the introduction at the end i mean one way i could do it is, is just i could uh, grab all these clips uh, and then um split the tr uh, split the tricks uh, here um and then i've got all these and i could uh, move it on and that but that's not very nice i want to come up with things on a fly i don't want to be chopping bits of audio up all over the place and uh it might end up in a right mess so i'm just going to undo that um get to back to where i was so let's go up here um the arrangement track is a global track and if you're not familiar with global tracks the global tracks are accessed by this little button here and we've got a variety that we can see this is where your video would be if you were using a video track uh, you can set markers up on your track change the key signature of your track as you go out throughout that's really good if you're using midi um, and even vary vary the tempo as you go along throughout your track so that there's a, a variety of different uh, features there but the one we're interested in today is the arrangement track so if i just go ahead here and click the plus button it gives me a section and it's given me an eight bar intro well that was uh, quite clever i don't know how i know exactly um it was eight bars but it's done a really good job i guess most intros are eight bars long now if i click it again oh it's given me a verse that's really cool and again i've got another intro that's not right but if you hover over the text here you can see what you want and let's call that the chorus but that's not quite right because in my track here the chorus is coming in around here so i'm just going to simply move that there he says um well, let's just pull that across there so i'm going to stretch the verse out and then move that to the chorus so that's giving me the chorus of my tune which is probably going to end about here so i stretch that out if i double click here again uh, i can rename it i'm going to call that chorus one just to make it nice and easy and let's add another bit uh, oh yeah that's the bridge uh, i'm just doing this arbitrarily for this demo but uh, i'm not I can't remember which bits are which i want to add another verse in here oh, that's not the outro that's it's going to be the verse let's put the verse in there let's it's going to make the verse a bit longer up to about there plus it again we've got another chorus yeah that's about right and then um, i'm going to put that as the outro which goes all the way to the end there. So I've got a, a structure of my song. It's all labeled correctly. I can even uh, go in here, uh, select one. Let's uh, go to my view. Let's look at my colors and let's make that red or horrible pink color. That's going to be red. Um, what I'll do here, just to prove a point as well, I'm just going to do, I'm going to split those. Um, so that you can actually see what happens um, a bit more clearer. As I say, I don't necessarily think you should do um, You don't need to do this step, and this is a way of not having to do this step. But just for the clarity of this demo, I'm going to show you that. So I go back to show my show colors, and I'm going to make it the same color, that nasty purple color. So all those should be, oops, undo. Let's go back there, and I should. Just make that red there. Let's see if that's changed yet. Select them all. Select that one as well. We'll make that purple. So we've got all our purple regions there. So if, for example, this is where the brilliantness of this feature comes in. If, for example, I want to move the chorus, I can just select that and just move it after the bridge. So I go verse bridge. Everything has moved. How cool is that? And let's say I want the outro to come in that after the verse. 
everything has already split already moved how cool is that and let's just say as well I want another verse if I just option click and shift that I'm going to put a verse in between here about there oops I didn't do it let's move that copy that For some reason, mine isn't copying at the moment. It says copy, as you can see. Right? This is pressing the uh, option key, so I want to just stick that in there. And now I have I have my two verses now, another verse. So option, as you would do with a block, you see it goes to copy there. I'm just going to copy that chorus, put that there. So I've got chorus one and chorus two, and you can see the colours all like that. So there you go, that's an arrangement track for you. Really nice, easy way of, of just changing around the orders of your songs, keeping all your sections nice and, and bundled together. It's got a variety of different options. Let's just say you were doing some scoring to film and you had the same cue that you wanted. Instead of having to cut and paste it or do lots of pieces, you could just label it as part of the arrangement track and then just drag and drop it and copy it. So I hope that was helpful for you.